It's Fab Tech Day 4. We are with Sam at the Jay Miller booth. Um, she is going to demonstrate this cobalt welder for us. All right. So our cobalt welding system is designed around welders because we're Miller and that's what we do. So our biggest focus is keeping people from having to do too much work on the pendant. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start a program from scratch so you can see the whole process. So programs, new, I'm going to give it a name. And then I'm going to go ahead and just put my settings in because I know what I want to run. And that's all I do. So normally, if I didn't have my safety enclosure, I'd be pushing this back to the corner. But I'm just going to use this to monitor my program as I build it. All program building happens up here at our torch. So on the back, we have our release for the brakes so we can move it around. On the top, we have our joystick, our AccuGuide. This is for fine tuning so I can get my torch angle just right. And then all the programming happens at the front. Do you want to program this one? Yeah. All right. It's good. Okay. It doesn't take much to be able to pull that wherever you need it. I think I'm pushing it too hard. If you feel a click, you're squeezing too hard. There we are. So you get it close enough within an inch or two. All right, so a little bit closer. OK, I'm on it. <laughs> no worries. It's kind of jerky. It's very jerky. So I get it ish, okay, there ish sure, okay. is good enough. So this is when we fine tune. So it follows the exact motion you make. So if you pull up, it moves up. You tilt, it tilts. Twist, twists. Okay. So 360 degrees full control. So you can get the wire directly in the joint. You can get all your angles perfectly right. So move it in this way just a little bit so we don't weld to our clamp. Would it be good if I looked at that side too, huh? Sorry? I guess it would be good if I looked at that side too. Ah, uh, you know, ish. Ish is good enough, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> good enough. All right, so the programming is here. So go ahead and hit weld point because this is going to start our program. All right, okay. so behind you on the pendant, we can see that little yellow opened up. That shows where the weld starts. So as we build a program, what we do is. It's right here. Yep, this little curve here. Yep. That shows the weld start. All the weld lines will just be straight yellow until you get to the end, and then it will curve like that so you can see this is a weld, that's a weld. You okay. can see the on and off. So for the second one, we just kind of do the same thing. So I'll drag it down, and then go ahead and fine tune it for the second end. So this shows like the end point? Yes. So for this one, we're going to turn the weld off. So instead of putting in that middle button, we'll use the top button because those are air points. Oh. Don't worry, you got the joystick. You don't have to oh, fight yeah. it. Lift it up. I go. do like that. Oh yeah. That it's a good it, touch. Having to do a lot of uh, uh, customer parts and customer demos, I like it because I know my welds are going to look nice. <laughs> so go ahead and hit air point. And so on the pendant, we can see it closed it out. Oh, yeah. So the last part of any program is to just get away from the parts so that we can go home safely. So I was just, I always just grab and drag a okay. little and then hit air. And you've now built an entire program and a minute-ish. <laughs> so what we'll do now is not jerk the robot really hard. We'll crank it kind of back. I'll put this on. We'll do your well. All right. So we drive the program to the start. And then just tap play. And that is all there is to it. So now we can spend all day every day making this same joint over and over and over again. <laughs> That's actually really neat. Way better weld than I can do by hand. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's way better than I can do any more by hand. My eyes are going, I'm getting all shaky, and oh well. <laughs> yeah, what are some other cool features that this, this system has within it? Um, so our system is mounted to the table. Uh, that uh, everything including the tape bolt is actually designed and controlled by Miller. So we have the ITW torch, we use the ITW wire, our own power supplies, our table design, we control all the software and motions for the torch and everything. Um, because it's a one-stop shop, we're able to respond to customer requests and everything pretty quickly. So if there's an issue with, hey, these, these torch necks are just way too long, that doesn't work for industry, we can come up with a different version. So for example, one of the best ones I like the most anyways as a welder, uh, we got feedback that when we were doing 90 degree corners, the uh, corners were building up a lot of material trying to make that turn. So we actually changed the software to make what we call smooth motion. So the bead profile around corners matches the actual weld. So we can get really beautiful welds even around 90 degree corners. We do air cooled and water cooled. We have 350 amp versions and 500 amp versions. Um, we use the auto continuum as the standard power supply. So it's got all the different materials, processes, methods that you could possibly want to use. So like one thing I really like about the system is that, that it's all Miller branded, right? So it's like all facilitated under your brand, mm -hmm. your technical support. Oh yes. And you're able to support this even with your own user interface. Oh yeah. And my service tech is the guy standing over there. So for this show, we've got him here working the booth. Right now I've got him wandering around the show. Very nice, very nice. And what are some cool things that are in the software? Um, so most of the software is happening in the background where you can't see it. So a lot of what we do is how we control the motion, how we set things up to make it very, very simple. So I walked through how to set up a program, but we can do things like throw in a part counter. So if I'm doing eight parts on this table, I can throw in a counter for each one. And then when I run uh, in auto mode, there we go. When I run in auto mode, every time I produce a part all day, we're going to be able to see how many we make. So it's good for production tracking, things like that. Um, we can monitor our cycle times to be sure that we're maintaining the production that we need, how long everything's going to take. We can watch the progress of everything as we go through. Um, and we do have the users, so you're able to have different levels of people, so you're mm. sure, you know, I don't want this person changing any programs, I just want him hitting my bright gotcha. green button all day. Yeah, you're so you're able like password to do that. protected almost. Yes, so nice. if I come in here to the different levels. Operator, admin, service, gotcha. Yep. And then one other thing I noticed that he was doing is he was able to, to change the weld parameters while running. Yeah, we were doing that earlier. So I went into a different program somebody had me make. We threw in a center point, we changed the weld speed midway. So if they hit a gap and needed a bigger weld, yeah. um, they were able to just change the yeah. speed and it looked good. Yeah, I think that's like also a good thing for like testing. Like if somebody's running like their first part, yes. maybe they can test across like a, you know, a one foot piece. And, and kind of just adjust those adjust yeah, parameters and then see which weld looks the best on the, on the metal really they're welding. In. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so we're, uh, we're still developing, we're still working because we're continuously getting feedback. So we're adding new features. So we've got touch sense and scene track coming next year with multi pass, um, copy paste shift, all kinds of uh, new fun things that are going to keep just coming out. So every system comes with a QR code attached to the side that takes you straight to the website. So as we come out with the new features and stuff, you can get the QR code, you can update your system, and hey, now I got copy-paste shift, so. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Y'all have Appreciate a great show. You too.